Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Merge Magic, and I'm back in my garden. Here, we're going to be seeing some different ways to get wood. So, wood. That's kind of like stone in Merge Dragons, and it's how we buy either chests or buildings in the game. So, having wood is really important. There's a couple different ways to get wood. Here, we have our wood sheds. The wood sheds, you can always tap on those to get wood from there. So those are a good source of wood. Otherwise, you can always harvest your stumps. Here we have the enchanted stumps. And so far, I'm at the level 8 wizard's enchanted stump. So this one, we can harvest for the few wood logs. Pretty good. And uh, there's other stumps where you can harvest tiny wood from. And enchanted stumps. Those, you can harvest three times before they disappear and when you harvest the enchanted stumps you're going to get the fine enchanted stump so i recommend harvesting it twice and then merging five of them at once you've harvested them twice and that way you can work on your enchanted stumps another way another way to work on your enchanted stumps is the way we're about to see right now using the queen and king chess Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Good morning, V. Hey, everybody. Hey, no worries. Go crush it in that Merge Dragons event. Right now, it's the Halloween, the fabulous Halloween event in Merge Dragons. So if ever you're still working on that, definitely send in positive energies your way. Keep on crushing it. I've also been saving a couple other things for this live stream. Here, we've got these rabbit eggs so we have five of those we can go ahead and make a merge and get the rabid babies here beautiful and these queen chests you can get those when you complete a level on the world map three times depending on the level it'll indicate it and another way to get them is here in your chest menu so here you scroll to the far right and you can get the queen chest for 80 wood these are kind of like the living chests in Merge Dragons, uh, the gold chests. Those are going to help you with your living stones. So these are really, really amazing to help you work on your enchanted stumps. You unlock these chests by completing quests. So here it tells me that I've unlocked this quest by getting over 300 stars. Let's see what we have there. Ooh, the strong chest. I have a feeling that's kind of going to be like the pearlescent chest. They're a little bit more expensive, but those are going to help you work on your evergreen trees and your dragon monuments. Beautiful. So, zoomers, those are a type of creatures. The zoomers move around faster than the other creatures. Yeah. Um, otherwise, uh, if you want to know more about creature types or dragon types, I made a video in Merge Dragons that's uh about the dragon types and it i mean it translates the same in merge magic the trophy creatures they're gonna have two creature types here we have the deers those are harvesters so they're gonna harvest quicker than other creatures here we have another creature uh another trophy so that's gonna have two creature types here we have a defender the peacat so if ever we get, like, witches that come, the peacats are going to be quicker for destroying them. Uh, here, the fairy, that's kind of like the crimson dragon. It has no type. It's typeless. So it's uh, a little bit more basic, but still super cool. Here, I just opened up my first king chest. I'm going to open up another, and we're going to get a bunch of fine enchanted stumps from there. We're going to get some enchanted stumps. And also some cobwebs. Beautiful. So let's see. Here we've got these enchanted stumps here. We're going to keep on opening these chests. We can go ahead and merge these great enchanted stumps here. Hey, how am I that far already? Um, I've been gaming a lot. <laughs> how am I doing? I'm doing amazing. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day as well. Um, do you know what the monoliths are for? So, yeah, the dark monoliths here. Those, you have the dark monoliths, the grim monoliths, and the overload monoliths. Those are kind of like the dead wood in the Merge Dragons. 
So those, they're either going to sprout these cobwebs, which we can either merge or harvest for these tiny evergreen seeds, which is going to help us work on our evergreen trees. So far, I'm at the level 7 ancient evergreen tree. And uh, otherwise, these, uh, the monoliths here, they can be harvested for the druid stones. Um, you're going to get a dark goil dark gargoyle statue and then you can destroy that and it's going to scatter a bunch of those stones around beautiful should i merge my four my level four monolith you can go ahead and merge it um i think you're just going to get a bunch of druid stones and uh what else is there oh i'm having a brain fart let's see i might have some around um, how to get the monolith? Those, you get them with the dark stone. So these are actually the, uh, like the fungus log, the undead wood. Um, so those, you can merge them. Those are going to give you dark monoliths. And, oh, it doesn't seem I have enough. Oh, yes, we do. Beautiful. So these, well, I could harvest them some more. Uh, they'll shrink on the way. So here we see another one. I've harvested it a couple times. And they're also going to sprout the cobwebs for the evergreen trees here we can harvest these a little bit more and as you can probably see i'm running out of space uh let's see here we've got that wood do we have some more wood we can merge to make some space yes those five mana enchanted stumps we're gonna merge those we're gonna move that back there and let's go ahead harvest these two more times here beautiful yeah and let's see we can harvest these another time i've actually got a web page on my website toastyboutique.com about the dark monoliths if ever you're wondering how many of the cobwebs they sprout or how many times you can harvest them feel free to check out the website here we just merged the dark monolith and we got these three pile of druid stones a chest and a gargoyle so not too shabby there. Okay, here I'm really running low on space. We're going to move that. Let's see, we can harvest this fruit here. Beautiful. That we're going to move there, move those twinkling plants there. Now, if ever you don't have enough wood to buy the queen and king chess, you can always harvest your plants, these glowing plants here. Now, those little shimmering plants that we see sprouting out of the ponds, those, when you merge them, they turn into twinkling plants. Now, if you don't merge them fast enough, they're going to turn into cobwebs. But you want to get those twinkling plants. Once you have the twinkling plants, you can harvest those for more enchanted stumps. And once you get the level 5 glowing plant, the radiant plant, there you can even harvest for fine enchanted stumps. So, super efficient, the level 6, you can harvest the sparkling plant for the fine enchanted stumps as well, and so on. Here, there's 8 levels and then the wonder, and, oh, hello, we've got a merge over here. We can merge these thunder rocks here, beautiful, super efficient there. Here, I'm going to move these glowing plants back a little bit, uh, I guess like that. And we can put these floating rocks here. If ever you play Merge Dragons and you're wondering what are the floating rocks, those are kind of like the regular mushrooms that we have in Merge Dragons. So that is just another merge chain. Super cool. And here I ended up getting a Druid Garden in one of the levels on the world map. The Druid Gardens, those are kind of like the fountains in Merge Dragons. So that is really helping me work on my fruit bushes here. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. Oh, no way. You got the glowing plants wonder today. That's your fourth wonder. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> Congratulations. Crushing it hardcore. Looks like eight. I have a little catching up to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we're going to keep on merging these enchanted stumps here. Let's see what we can do. So we got those there. Beautiful. 
And we're going to keep opening up these loot orbs. Oh, here we have a five merge with those enchanted stumps there. Beautiful. Here, we're going to open up this king chest here. And ooh, we just got a level four mana enchanted stump. Pretty good. Let's keep on getting some more stumps here. Uh, not enough space. Oops. So let's see here. This chest, I think. Yeah, there's four little treasure chests down here. We're going to move that there. Put this there. Uh, I'm just going to put that egg there for the moment. And I want to get one more of the queen chest. So we're going to come in this menu. And I'm going to purchase one more queen chest there. We're going to make a five merge. And hopefully make a little bit of space at the same time. So we're going to merge these great enchanted stumps here. Beautiful. Merge those mana enchanted stumps there. And now we can even merge those five arcane enchanted stumps. Oh yeah, here we've got five of the Shaman's Enchanted Stumps. Let's go ahead and merge those. Rock on. And we just got two more of the Sorcerer's Enchanted Stump. So I'm going to be working on these for a while. But the long-term goal of this is I want to get the Wonder. Now there's ten levels of Enchanted Stumps. And then the Wonder, that's going to be like the equivalent to the Stonehenge in Merge Dragons. And... I know that the Stonehenge is super powerful, so I'm definitely going to try to get the Wonder for these enchanted stumps here. If it's anything as powerful as Stonehenge, it's a must-have. Here are these dimensional jars. I'm just going to trash those for some coins. You can get 50 coins each uh, when you sell those. Otherwise, they disappear. And here we can get some more of those Druid Stones. We should have a 5 merge. Yep, so we're going to merge those druid stones there, merge these pile of druid stones, and I'm going to try to keep it organized. Let's see, um, here we can merge these five druid stones there, bring these ones back, and we've got those, that's looking sharp there. Um, here we have another one of these evergreen trees, so we can tap those for the healing power. Beautiful, and... Next, I'm going to go ahead and merge those small evergreen trees there. Now, we've got five of these. And these are kind of like prism flowers in Merge Dragons. You can tap those for their beautiful healing power. So, that's pretty good. We're going to merge those young evergreen trees next. And now we have three of the aged evergreen trees. So, I'll keep working on that. Not too worried about it. Slow and steady there. Perfect. So that we can move that. The cobwebs, I'm just going to group them together. And let's keep opening up these chests here. We can merge those five enchanted stumps. Keep opening up. Here we have five of the great enchanted stumps. Beautiful. And exactly, the glowing plants are just like grass in Merge Dragons. Yeah, I'm sending out positive energies to everybody, whether you're gaming, whether you're at work today, whether you're working on the Merge Dragons Halloween event, or whether you're just playing Merge, Drag uh, Merge Magic or Merge Dragons for fun. Um, hope everybody's crushing it, getting closer to their goals. Keep up the hard work. Oh yeah, beautiful. This is going very well. So here we're at four stumps there. We can make a five merge with those enchanted stumps. Merge those great enchanted stumps. Next we're going to merge those mana there. Trash this dimensional jar. Get some more coins. And we've got two more of the arcane stumps. Beautiful. So let's keep getting these. Open this up. That orb. I'm just going to launch that. Ooh. Okay. So I've got these druid stones all over the place. I'm going to merge these five here. Or dark monoliths. Not too worried about harvesting them there. Um, we're going to merge those enchanted stumps there. You can always harvest these and let them sprout more cobwebs to take even more advantage of them. But for the video, I'm going to speed it up a little bit and just cruise through this. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Um, do I intend to open the Mega Nest lock chest? That's a great question. So here we've got the super nest, but the mega nest is right here. I haven't healed the land yet, but I'm probably going to open it once we get there. 
So I'll make sure to make a video about that. Don't worry. Yeah. Here we're going to keep this going. We're going to open up these bubbles here. And uh, we've got a couple of the level one enchanted stumps. So I'm going to group those together here. And we're going to harvest those two times each. So here's the first round of harvesting them. That's going to give us a level two fine enchanted stump. We're going to harvest them all once again. And we can harvest them three times, but I'd rather merge them after the second if I can keep track of them. Uh, I feel like it's more efficient and I'll save some stamina with my creatures. So here we're going to merge those level two there. Oops. So one of the enchanted stumps, I guess I already had harvested it. So it disappeared after the third harvest, but no worries. We've got others. So I'm going to harvest this one just a second time here. And then we're going to merge those five fine enchanted stumps. Beautiful. So we merge those there. Here we've got a bunch more stumps. We're going to merge those great enchanted there. Beautiful. Here we can merge these level twos there. And this is definitely going well. Here are those fruit. I'm going to harvest those for coins. Pop that loot orb there. And let's see, we've got that and that. Here we have four. That makes five. We're going to merge these five great enchanted stumps. Beautiful. And let's see, here we've got these dark monoliths. Oh, I thought that was a five merge. Eh, no biggie. And we'll leave those there eh, like that. Perfect. So here we have four of those. And we can make a five merge with those stumps there. Beautiful. Merge these fine enchanted stumps over here. Zoom that there. Okay. So now at this point, I'm going to want to start getting some more of those queen chests. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get five of these. Beautiful. Merge them together. And I'm only going to get five now because I'm a little low on space. So let's open this. Keep up these merges. Hey, Helen, what's up? Hey, glad to see you. Yas queen. Beautiful. We're trying to get that. Okay, not enough, uh, not enough place. So here, let's see. We've got five druid stones. We can merge those five together there. I'm actually going to zoom this here. Merge these five pile of druid stones there. Bring this up here. And next, we're going to merge these five bundles. And I'm actually going to bubble those. And whoops, bundle these and bring them over here. Perfect. Awesome. So that's looking great there. Here, this other pile or bundle of druid stones. I'm going to bring that there. Put those seeds here. These druid, uh, grim monoliths, I'm going to move those back. For now, we're going to put them there. So let's harvest these enchanted stumps here. Open up this loot orb here. We've got a five merge. And we can then merge these great enchanted stumps. Next, I'm going to merge these mana enchanted stumps here. Oh, yeah. And now we can merge those arcane enchanted stumps, getting two more of the shamans. Here, I'm going to delete that dimensional jar. Put that, uh, put the stump back there. And we've got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Let's see. Here, we've got these weak bright stones. We can merge those five. Next, we're going to merge those faint spirit rocks here. And a five merge waiting for us there. We're going to keep harvesting those enchanted stumps. And next we can merge these soul mana rocks over here. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, the queen chests are really sustainable indeed. They're a great investment. Um, you know, it's 80 stones, but in the long run, it does pay itself back. And the, it's really a chain that you want to work on. The resources chain is very important. So just like the living stones in Merge Dragons, here these uh, enchanted stumps are very powerful. Yeah, we're going to merge those stumps there. Beautiful. Get these great enchanted stumps merged together here. Keep it going. We've got another king chest there. Awesome beautiful so here we've got that going so here this druid garden is so helpful it's giving me a bunch of seeds so i can merge those bushes together now there's coins and there's wood that are air quotes resources 
in this game. So the fruit bushes, those are going to give me the fruit and those are going to help me get more coins. Right now in this live stream, I'm going to focus on wood, but uh, make sure to work on your fruit bushes as well. I've actually got a humble chest over here. And just real quick to show everyone, the humble chest, those are even a better deal than the queen chest. The queen chest, they're 80 wood each, so that's like 200, or that's uh, 400 for five of them to make a five merch. The humble chest, they're 40 each. So that's only 200 for five of them. So super great deal. And these are gonna help you work on your blessed flowers and your fruit bushes. So here we're going to take a quick look at those. It's not going to be my main focus in the live stream, but just a heads up that these are really important to work on as well. Beautiful. So this is going great. Of course, I'm going to run out of space. Let's see. Any merges? Uh, these cobwebs, we can make a three merge with those. Just going to make some quick space here. Move that back. And let's see. This stump goes there next we can open up that orb and i'm having club trouble clicking here let's see we've got those there we can harvest those enchanted stumps one more time we've got these five bronze coins we can go ahead and merge awesome here we're going to get those bush uh fruit bush sprouts we're going to merge those together there and now i know i've got a five merge with these fruit bush shrubs perfect so we're going to bring those back there here, we've got these blessed blooms that we can merge together. Awesome. And we're going to move those flowers back. Open up this. That's looking great. Those minor blessings for now. I'm just going to pop them to make a little bit of space. We can open up that loot orb as well. Beautiful. And that druid garden already has another seed waiting for me. So this is going really well. Here, I'm just going to get rid of that cobweb. Let's see. We're going to harvest this. I just need to make a little bit of space for one more awesome merge. Here we're going to merge these fine enchanted stumps. Bring this over here. Merge those great enchanted stumps there. And then we're going to merge those mana enchanted stumps. Here we're going to trash that dimensional jar. And this is going awesomely beautiful. We're going to bring this blessed flower over here. And let's see. I'll drop it right there. Put that there. This druid go stone goes up there. And the seed, I'm going to put it right here. I guess we'll put that cobweb there. The bean, we've got five of the beans. We can merge those together. Beautiful. And now I've got two of these arcane beans. If ever you miss my live stream on the beans, definitely worth checking out. Here, the magic beans, we've got the magic bean, the arcane bean, and the cosmic beam of cherubim. Those are kind of like the golden apples in Merge Dragons. And if you saw that live stream, you might have seen the way to do the Marcus V bubbling technique in Merge Magic. Very interesting and definitely a must-see. If ever you didn't see that live stream, you got to check it out. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, if you don't feel like gaming, no worries. There's days like that. Just sit back, relax, and have fun. Yeah, beautiful. Do I have any wonders in Merge Magic? Yeah, I've got one wonder so far. It's this glowing boulder of the Minotaur. Um, if we compare it to Merge Dragons, it's kind of like the ruins of the Sky Palace that we get with the bush chain. Here we've got the mineral boulders chain. We've got the mineral stone level one, the mineral rock level two. This, I got this in another live stream that we had a couple weeks ago. So super cool here, once you get those level 5 brewing mineral boulders, you can merge those together to get your first wonder, in my opinion, the air quotes easiest, and uh, super epic there. Um, it'll help you work on your creature power, and I'm keeping two of them in my garden, because I think they're on an 8 hour timer. Those, you can click on them and get extra eggs. Um, you get those mystery, neg uh, mystery eggs from them. And uh, you can get a mystery egg nest, but that's really rare, but you never know. And the other ones, I've kept them bubbled over here. I'll keep them there for now. Who knows? I might need them eventually. Beautiful. So, yeah. Oh, so glad to share these tips and tricks. The humble chest. It's really powerful. 
Um, if you haven't used it yet, I recommend just getting five of them, testing it out. If you don't like it, cool. But if you like it, then you need to know about this trick. It's just like the moon chest, which you can merge for Phobos chest and merge dragons. So the humble chest, those are going to help you with your blessed flowers as well as your fruit bushes. The queen chest, those are going to give you the enchanted stumps and, well, the occasional cobweb, perfect for Halloween decorations. Um, otherwise, we've got the fighter chest here. We're actually going to discover all five chests in this live stream. Get ready. So we've got the fighter chest there. In those, we see the price going up. So the price is going to increase five uh, wood every time we buy it, but it eventually will cap off. Here, I already have a spirit chest, so I'm going to get four of them. And we see the price increasing there. It as well will eventually cap off. So it won't keep increasing eternally. Here, we're going to merge the spirit chest beautiful and we just discovered the chest of souls so here this is part of the spirit chest chain and we're about to unlock these here we can go ahead and merge those fighter chests we'll discover those in just a sec let's go ahead open up these chests of souls and if i'm not mistaken these kind of feel like the dangerous chests in merge dragons um here we're getting these uh pools which are kind of like the water chain so let's go ahead and get these. Uh, the grapefruit, I'm just going to sell that real quick. Beautiful. So that's going to help us with our pool chain, our secret pools, our floating rocks. And we'll probably get some of these weak bright stones as well on the way. So here, of course, I'm probably going to run out of space. Let's see. The wood, we can merge that. The lock chest, I'm going to just trash that for some coins right now. And the wood, okay, we're going to... We're just going to make some quick merges. I wouldn't do this if I had more time, but in the live stream, we're going to zoom a little bit a little bit faster than I do if I'm just playing by myself. Um, so here, we're going to open up these bubbles here, these loot orbs. See if we can't get another one of those pools there. And not there. Okay. Well, uh, here, we're going to... Ooh, the hero chest. We're going to open it up. It's actually just going to bubble the items. And we're going to keep those bubbled for a second. Here, we're going to get this enchanted ancient tree and make it rain. So with the cloud here, whoops, we're going to get this. Hopefully, it'll make another one of those pools. And I think I ran out of time. Let's see if we can't get another cloud. And I'm going to merge those cobwebs there. Make it rain here. We're looking for another pool. And that orb, we're going to pop that. Hopefully get one more. Yes, we got it. So we're going to merge those three po tiny ponds. We're going to merge, well, one turned into a floating stone. If you don't merge the pools fast enough, no worries. They're going to turn into floating rock. So here we might actually end up with a floating rock merge. Let's see. Here we've got this. I'm going to zoom that back there. Let's see. We've got these wise floating rocks. So the chests that we just saw are perfect for working on your floating rocks, your pools, and a couple of your glowing stones here. Huh, let's see. Okay, we've got those four there. Do we have another? Oh, we're short. Okay, so we're going to pop that there. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, here we've got this, perfect. We're going to merge those wise floating stones there, merge these five wind rocks, and now we have two more of the thunder, wall. thunder rocks. Beautiful. So I'm going to merge, uh, move those back. We'll group those together there. And I think we have a merge with these level one floating rocks there. Beautiful. And that's the thing. If we don't merge these fast enough, they turn into floating rocks. So there, I just got another reflecting pool. These are what give you those shimmering plants if ever you want to work on your glowing plants. Super useful there. So that's what you get with the fighter chest that we just saw there. Now we're going to explore the spirit chest. We opened up the level two of the spirit chest and those look like the occult chest in Merge Dragons. These are going to be perfect for working on your small ancient trees. Here we're getting some of those and these... Are good, they're kind of like the hills. You can harvest them for the ancient leaves to get more of them. So like here, I like to merge five of them. 
Here we just got two of the level one ancient saplings, so we'll be able to merge these five over here. Awesome. Move those there. We can tap that druid garden for another seed. And here I'm going to tap these loot orbs. Okay, cool. So here we can merge those level two small ancient trees. Move that there. This is going very well. And we've got a couple more of those there. Let's open up the rest of these loot orbs. Okay. So we have that one there. Well, I'm just going to merge three ancient leaves. We should get, yeah, one. And we can make a five merge with those level ones there. Move that back. Looking good. I'm kind of making a big mess here, but we're going to clean it up before the end of this live stream. Let's see. Here we've got those. Whoa, these druid. Okay, here we're just going to merge those grim monolith there. And we're getting a bunch of these. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. For a second, I'm just going to move those reflecting pools back. And we can merge these. Fine enchanted stumps there. That'll make some space as well. Okay, there we've got that evergreen tree. Here we've got these weak, bright stones. So I'm going to get one more. Merge those together. Beautiful. Hey, from that chest, we got a shining plant. So that was pretty strong there. Beautiful. And now we've got a couple more of these rocks. Hmm. Uh, forest Everwood. I'm just going to trash that. I'm going to merge these together and put that there for now. Let's see. I'm tempted. Eh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're going to get another five of those spirit chests. Beautiful. So those are getting a little expensive, but I've got enough wood at the moment. I'll do it. And here we got those chests of souls. We're going to open up these and get a bunch more. Awesome. We already have a five merge with the floating rocks there. And next, we can merge these five wise floating rocks. Going very well. Here, we're going to open up this soul, uh, chest of souls next. And we've got a bunch of the puddles. We can almost make a five merge. Let's see. Move this here. And you know what? I'm just going to make a three merge with those after all. Uh, here we can make it rain. Okay. Uh, let's see. One coin. We'll make a three merge with those. Uh, and open up this loot orb. Okay. Well, I can merge these three shallow pools and then merge those level three pools and then I'll get a level four reflecting pool. So at least now I know I'm safe. Those won't turn into the floating rocks. And now I actually think I have five of these. Let's see. One, two, three. Yes. So we have five of these reflecting pools. Let's go ahead and make a five merge with those level four. And we just got two more of the great garden pool level five. Rock on. Here we're going to take this ancient tree and I'll put it there. Let's see. We'll switch that out here. That goes there. <laughs> I've definitely made a huge mess. Let's see. We're going to bring this over here. And we can merge these five pile of druid stones. I'm going to bring the other druid stones over here. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we've got some of these twinkling plants. So if ever you don't want to use those floating pools and you want to bubble them for more space, no worries. You can always use the chest that we just used to get more of the pawns and to get more of the shining plants. So you don't even need to keep those around. Uh, if you don't want them making a mess, just go to this chest menu here, get those spirit chests, merge them together, and you'll get a bunch of these twinkling plants here. We can merge those level two twinkling plants already. Awesome. So this is going amazingly. Let's see. We've got three of those. What other merges can we do to clean up here? Uh, we've got those floating rocks there. We've got a five merge. Perfect. Here we can merge these five level one floating stones. And this is going very well. Here, that twinkling plant, I'm going to move that there. We can move those like such. And I'm just going to organize everything we've got going on here. So this is pretty reasonable. 
Here we're going to get that seed, and once this seed turns into a fruit bush sprout, then we're going to merge those five. Just like the fruit tree saplings and merged dragons, let those fruit bush seeds take their time and turn into the fruit bush sprouts. It's worth two or three minutes for sure. Then once you get five of the fruit bush sprouts, just like I'm waiting for, merge those together and uh, you can work on your fruit bushes here, just like the fruit trees in Merge Dragons. Whew. Okay, so we made a reasonable mess here and oh, another merge. So we can merge those floating rocks there and we have three of these thunder rocks rock on. <laughs> yeah, here we've got that. Beautiful. I'm going to move that there, put that there. Try to organize this as well as possible. And if ever you're trying to get your garden or your camp more organized, what I recommend is grouping things of the same kind together. So like here, I've got my glowing plants and my floating rocks in my top right area. Next thing I want to organize are these uh, ancient trees. I've got some ancient trees on my right hand uh, area and those could definitely use a little bit of organizing. So here, whoop, wrong item. Here we're going to take these, whoops, <laughs> here we're going to take these five small ancient trees, merge those together. Next we're going to take these level three ancient trees, merge those together, and we just got two more of the level fours. Awesome. And, ooh, so we've got a couple of those. So now I have these five level four wise ancient trees. We can merge those together, getting two more of the ancient tree of knowledge. So one more of those, I'll be able to make a five merge. Can't wait for that. And these are kind of like the hills in Merge Dragons, if ever you're wondering. Uh, so I could either bubble those, but for now I'm going to wait till I can make a five merge. Cool. Here we can bring this back, bring this back, whoops, I'm going to put that back there, looking good. The dimensional jar, I'm just going to trash that for the 50 coins. Awesome. And here we got another one of those in ancient, uh, enchanted ancient trees. Now these are the trees that you get from merging the ancient trees, and you can tap those to get the clouds in order to make it rain, whether you want more ponds or whether you want to let them turn into the floating stones, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. So that covers a lot of stuff there. There's one more chest that I wanted to see, the strong chest. So here I'm going to get five of these chests here. Beautiful. And we're going to go ahead, merge those strong chests there. Let's open up these powerful chests next. And these are going to help us, just like I thought, with our stone monuments and our evergreen trees. Oh yeah, here we go. And we finally just got another one of the dim stone sculptures. If I'm not mistaken, these are like the glowing trees in Merge Dragons. So here we just got our first merge of the twinkling stone statue. Pretty rare. That's a first uh, level two I've gotten in that chain, so we're going to have to work really hard on those, but I'm stoked to finally have a merge. Oh, yeah. Awesome. So here, that evergreen tree, we're going to move that back. Perfect. Let's see what other statues we can merge. We're going to merge those small stone monuments, merge these five stone monuments there. Now we have a five merge with these fine stone sculptures. Beautiful. And next, we're going to be able to merge these great stone statues. And we just got two of the exceptional fox monuments. Rock on. These stone monuments are just like the uh, dragon trees in Merge Dragons. You can harvest them for... Um, you can get some of those pile of druid stones, the druid stones. And you're also going to get some of the stone pieces, which will help you work on more of these stone monuments here. Now, just like in Merge Dragons, you can harvest these and you're going to get occasionally a rare mystery egg. In Merge Dragons, it's the Ruby Fire mystery egg. In Merge Magic here, it's the Amber Hive mystery egg. So let's see if we can't harvest this enough to get another one of those Ruby, uh, the Amber Hive mystery eggs here. Beautiful. 
And, okay, not so far. Let's try a couple more. We're either going to make a big mess or get another Amber Hive mystery egg. <laughs> mm, okay, not there. Let's try this one more time. And, oh, we just got a coin. Cool. Let's see. And yeah, no mystery egg. Of course, when I want to show it, it never shows up, but that's okay. So here, we're going to keep going for it. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're going to run out of space. Let's make some merges. Here, we're going to merge those five stone pieces there. Beautiful. And that just goes to show you how valuable those special chests are to help you out in this game. Um, let's see here. We got a bunch of those evergreen trees as well. We should have a merge with these. Let's merge these over here. I'm gonna tap those real quick. Get that healing power and merge these five small evergreen trees. Beautiful. We've got five more of these young evergreen trees. So I'm gonna tap those. Whoops, or I guess we're just going to merge those. I'm running out of space hardcore here. So next, we're going to get this small, uh, this aged evergreen tree here. Hopefully we have enough space. Tap those. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And we can merge those aged evergreen trees there. And we just got an amber hive mystery egg. Now we didn't see it, but it came out of those dragon monuments there or the stone monuments. I'm not too sure which one, but it takes a little bit of patience. But if you're patient, it's worth it. It's a free way of getting those creature eggs. Beautiful. So this is going really well. Here we can merge those druid stones there. Next, uh, let's see, we've got more of these druid stones. We're going to merge those druid stones there. Merge these pile of druid stones. We can merge these five bundle here. And I'm going to bubble that item again, just like I did earlier. Zoom that up here. Perfect. And that's going to help us make a bunch of space. And I'm going to keep getting these loot orbs opened here. And clean up the rest of the mess that we've made. And then I'm going to go back to wood. Hey, everybody. What's up? How's it going? Hey, JD. Uh, pardon. Hey, Jody. Hey, Luna. How's it going? Welcome to the live stream. Hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I just opened up all the special chests. So here we opened up the strong chest. That helped up. That helped us with our stone monuments and our evergreen trees. Excuse me. Then we opened up the spirit chest. That helped us with our floating stones, our ponds, as well as our glowing plants. Here, the fighter chest. That helped us with all our ancient trees. The queen chest. That's helping us with our stumps and uh, getting a couple cobwebs. And then the humble chest helps us with those, uh, the blessed trees and the bushes over here. Now, I've made quite a mess, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this mess up a little bit. Let's see. Okay, here we can merge these coins there. Next, we're going to merge these coins here. I'm just going to merge those three fruit trash one, merge those next there beautiful and we're going to go back to using the king and queen chest to keep working on our enchanted stumps here perfect so this is going really well here we've got our five fruit bush sprouts that we can merge perfect and here we've got this evergreen tree which i do want to bring to the top area that goes there. And here are these stone monuments. Those as well go in the top left area. So we can merge those five. Beautiful. Merge these small stone monuments next. And now we have four of these stone monuments there. And if I give this space, it'll eventually make another cobweb. So I'm just going to give it a little space. Wait for one more. Then we'll merge them. And now we have enough space to get more queen chests. 
I'm going to get a bunch of them, and we're going to make some five merges here. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We've got ten of these. We can make a ten merge right there. Perfect. And, oh, one short. So I'm going to go back, get one more of those queen chests. Perfect. And now we're going to merge those queen chests together. Let's open up a bunch of these. Oh, yeah. Here we go. And we already have a five merge with those stumps there. Beautiful. I guess we can put that there. This here, that pine tree there. We're going to keep opening these up. Yeah. And there's one. So here we can merge these five great enchanted stumps. There is that cobweb I was looking for. So I'm going to merge those. And now we can keep opening up these king chests. Beautiful. Oh, and of course, we're out of space. So next, we're going to merge these five fine enchanted stumps there. Bring them up here. Uh, we can pop that orb. Go ahead, get these next. Beautiful. And I believe, yeah, we've got another five of these great enchanted stumps here. So we're going to merge those. Now we can merge those mana enchanted stumps. And we've got a five merge with these arcane enchanted stumps next. Oh, yeah. Here we're going to go ahead and trash that dimensional jar. Beautiful. And there we've got that. That's looking great. Here, these enchanted stumps. We can move them back there. And now we're getting items all over the place. I'm going to keep opening up the last of these loot orbs. And let's see here. And the dark monolith. I'm just going to merge those together. No stress there. We can merge those three. Uh, here we've got this. We're going to destroy this dark gargoyle statue. Let's see. That's going good. We're going to put that coin there. Here we have these enchanted stumps. We can harvest those a couple times before merging them. Let's see here. Oh, we've got a five merge with the fine enchanted stumps. And I want to get that loot orb there. There we go. Oh, almost. Here we can harvest these stumps one more time. And next, I'm going to merge these level twos here. We can merge these level three stumps next. And now I know I've merged, uh, harvested those at least twice each. So I'm going to merge those together. Beautiful. Keep this going. Uh, here, this is looking great there. We're going to pop that bubble as well. This lock chest, we're just going to sell that and merge these fine enchanted stumps here. Beautiful. The wood, I'm just going to collect it, make some space real quick. Uh, here we've got that fine enchanted stump. This is looking good. Beautiful. Here we've got four of those stones. If we can get one more, we'll be able to make a five merge. Let's see. Here we've got this. This is going very well. Okay, here we can merge those level two stumps there. Bring these stumps up here. Oh yeah, we've got another five merge. Beautiful. And I'm going to move those there. That's looking hot. And five more stumps here. Perfect. I'm going to move those there. Get these enchanted stumps here. We can pop the minor blessing. Let's see. We're going to merge those stone pieces there. Awesome. Put those there. Get rid of this locked chest. Beautiful. So how to get potions? Ooh, that's a great question. So the potions, those come from harvesting the level four abominable cauldrons. And the level four abominable cauldrons come from the snake mixtures. And the snake mixtures, I get those from the evil witch resting place level four. So the evil place uh, resting place level four, that is the level four grave. And the level four grave, I got it from healing the land and unlocking the premium land. If ever you missed my live stream where I un unlocked the premium land, it's available for playback. So please check that out. Here, when we tap these, 
uh, evil witch resting places? As you just saw, we got the wicked seeds. Now the seeds, just like the grim seeds in Merge Dragons, those will eventually turn into the level one snake mixtures. And these are part of the witch artifacts chain. I'm going to be making a video on this for Halloween. So make sure to stay tuned for more. But I'll run through it real quick here. So there we get the Bat Cauldron. We keep merging those up. Then we get the Blighted Cauldron. And then the level four is the Abominable Cauldron. And the level four is the first witch you can harvest. <laughs> Get it? Which you can harvest? So hopefully that answers your question about that. Are there any other questions? I've kind of just been like grinding here. Whoa, just spilled a bunch of coffee. Okay, what's going on? How to bubble things that are only one square? Great question, Eric. Okay. So how to bubble things that are only one square. Now there's two different ways to do this. There's the way with the Marcus V bubbling technique where you have a two by two item. Now I made a video about bubbling or well a live stream about bubbling, but if ever you miss that, I can take a second to explain it right now. Let's see, we're gonna merge these treasure chests here. They're starting to take up way too much space. We're gonna merge those. There's another one bubbled right here. So we're just going to take this chest, merge those together, and put these down here. Perfect. So here we've got that. We're going to move that there. And this is looking great here. We can tap that for a seed. So how to bubble a one-by-one one item? Well, there's two different ways. The other day, we saw with the Magic Bean live stream that we can use these cosmic beam of the cherry bum now you need a big two by two item so it needs to be uh you know it takes up four spaces and it needs to be mergeable so you're gonna have to have it have a white outline uh that's not working there let's see we're just gonna bubble that another item that i used i made another live stream about this as well oops is these amethyst up here now it looks like i just made another mess uh, whoops a daisies. Let's clean this up real quick here. Um, I tapped on the chest that we have there. Super powerful. We just got tons of items there. Let's see what else we can get. Okay. Um, here are those cobwebs. We're just going to merge those. Get that there. Uh, we've got some more egg merges for sure. Let's see. Here, uh, over here, deer, no, butterfin, no, minotaur, peacat. Here we can merge these five peacat eggs, <laughs> beautiful. And, ooh, here we're going to bring this down there. I'm going to switch that, that, and that. Beautiful. Here, we're going to try to open up the rest of that chest. Holy cannoli, look at all the peacat eggs. Um, I'm kind of getting sidetracked from the bubbling question, but basically, I explain everything in the Marcus V bubbling technique video. If you haven't seen that, you need to check it out. It's the same thing in Merge Dragons as Merge Magic. So either use the bean or the amethyst. Um... And another way to bubble a one-by-one one item, I'll just show it real quick here. We've got these arcane beans. We're going to pretend to merge them, but then we're going to click the world map button with our other finger. So here, if everything went according to plan, we should have bubbled that item. Uh, <laughs> as you can see right now, I'm at Griffin Reef. I know there's tons of people asking me for challenge 16. I'm not there yet. I'm trying to get there. As soon as I get to challenge 16, you better believe that I will be making a video about that. Beautiful. So there we managed to bubble that bean. Looking great there. Awesome. Let's see what we can do next here. So this is going very well. Uh, if we could get one more of those little shimmering plants, that'd be worth it. But I don't think I'm going to have time. Uh, I bubbled my pawns earlier. Let's see. We've got this here. 
Okay, I'm just going to make a three merge with these little shimmering plants. Beautiful. And next, we're going to merge these twinkling plants here. Bring this over here. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And this is going great. Beautiful. Okay, next, we're going to get this up here. And I see five pea cat eggs, so we're just going to unbubble those. And, oh yeah, we've got a five merge. Let's merge these pea cat eggs. Oh yeah. And we're going to keep this going. Get those eggs next. Now, Luna, okay, Luna is currently asking for two pea cat eggs for a nest of phoenix eggs. But I've been buying a lot of uh, pea cat eggs, so it's not worth it for me to do the trade with Luna. Um, right now, the price of my Pecat eggs are really expensive compared to the price of my Phoenix eggs. So I don't want to do that just yet. Um, so I'm not going to be doing Luna's daily trade today. But if you want to see, ooh, we unlocked another egg. Yes, the tree and egg. Awesome. So uh, yeah, if we compare this Phoenix eggs, 260, Pecat eggs, 770. So basically, I can get three Phoenix eggs for the moment for one Pecat egg. So I'd rather buy six of them than give Luna two Pecat eggs. If you haven't bought a bunch of the Pecat eggs yet, then it might be worth it. But for me right now, eh, not worth the investment. Ooh, but that is hello. Okay, let's see. I'm making a mess here. Okay, we've got these beautiful snake mixtures over here. We're going to bring these here and we're going to keep harvesting these abdominal abdominal cauldrons. Now we haven't gotten any of the snake mixture, uh, any of those uh, potions yet, but the potions, they're kind of like grim chest. They're super rare. So here we're going to get a bunch of cobwebs from that. It's going to make a mess, but eventually we're going to get those spooky potions. Here we've got the dubious potion so far and Stay tuned for more, because this is just the beginning of this awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, what's going on here? We're making a mess. I'm going to merge those ancient leaves together. Um, here, we've got this. We've got that. Um, I'm going to move this. Uh, whoops, make this mess over here. We're going to get this floating rock there. Beautiful. And here we can get this harvested. That'll give us a coin. Um, and let's see. Yeah, Luna, indeed. Luna, she's super cool. Um, I love making trades with her, but today I'm going to have to pass. But she's super cool just like uh i don't know if it's her sister but kayla <laughs> hey luna rue what's up girl oh yeah beautiful awesome here we're gonna merge those cobwebs and looks like we've got a bunch more of these evergreen trees we can merge those five there gonna move that just fill up those gaps beautiful and yeah harvesting those level one enchanted stumps is more efficient in the long run than merging them uh i recommend you know harvesting them twice and then merging them so that way you take as much advantage of them as possible um, i was showing it in the beginning of this live stream here i'm just going to clean up this mess i've made and then we'll get back to that beautiful Okay, we've got this here. We're going to get that there. Move this here. We've got this floating rock. That one there. These flowers. Ooh, we've got a five merge. We're going to bring this blessed bloom over here. Merge those flowers together. Beautiful. And next we can merge those blessed saplings. Cool. And I'm going to move that back. That's looking amazing. Here we're getting this, and we're going to bring this here, merge those cobwebs. We've got so many cobwebs, 
making a mess right now. We've got this and that looking good. And, <clears throat> oh, here we've got a five merge with those pile of druid stones. Beautiful. And, okay, we're going to put that there. Let's see. We just discovered a new egg, and it's a very affordable price. I'm going to get five of these treant eggs here. Let's merge those. Oh, yeah. And we just got two more of those cutie treant babies there. And we've actually got a ton of merges. Um, I hope everybody's ready for this. I've been saving up these merges for a while because my creature stamina was low. So... What I've been doing is I've been waiting to merge these level ones. Uh, I've been waiting for all my creatures to go to sleep, but looks like I'm not clicking fast enough or something because these creatures just keep on merging and harvesting for me. Or I guess they're not actually doing the merges for me, but they're still doing a bunch of awesome harvesting for me. So let's see here. Well, I want to tire these little creatures out. Let's go ahead. We're going to harvest these stone monuments a bunch. Um, how to get wood, harvest your stumps, uh, harvest the highest levels of stumps as much as possible. And another thing I'm going to do, well, in order to get coins, I'm going to get some of these fruit over here. And we're going to harvest all of these. You know what? Why not? Let's harvest that cobweb. Um, let's harvest these cauldrons a little bit more. Here, this chest, we're going to trash that for now. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to get this over here. Let's see. We've got a coin. We can make a f oh, we can make a five merge with those coins. Perfect. The floating rock there. This locked chest, we're going to trash that beautiful here we've got this over here lock chest we're going to trash that as well and okay we've got a couple coins with the coin storage over here not enough space oops here we're going to merge these old coins there now we're going to merge these bronze coins here perfect merge those right there and uh, put that and that there looking good next always running low on space what can I say here let's see we're gonna tap those wood storage real quick mm, let's harvest some more wood up here beautiful we're, we've, we've got that going on there it's going very well and here this level one enchanted stump i'm going to harvest it again i don't know if i've harvested it three times okay so here with this next stump we'll be able to make a five merge there and then i'm going to go make some creature merges oh yeah um <laughs> building up the anticipation Oh, yeah. Okay. And of course, I'm out of space again. Okay. Well, let's just get these here then. We're going to take these, merge those together. Beautiful. Here we've got this. We're going to get this here. And now we can merge whoop, these five enchanted stumps there, making a little bit more space here. We're going to come harvest those stones. And well, I guess these creatures just don't tire. And we're going to keep harvesting those. You never know. We're going to keep trying for that. Move this here. Let's harvest these stumps one more time each. And merge those five cobwebs there. Let's see. There's a bunch of seeds there. And eh, whatever. We'll let them sprout. Uh, and... Ooh, there we go. We finally got that dubious potion beautiful so it takes a lot of patience as you can see but with the evil witch resting place level four you can tap it to get the seeds which are the wicked seeds then give them a little time and there they will turn into these snake mixtures beautiful here we're gonna trash this locked chest here get that wood get that wood oh not in a space Okay, we're just going to merge those three wood. What you going to do? Get that. Ooh, here we can make a five merge with those coins. Beautiful. No more coin there. We're going to put that there. Bring this here. 
Okay, too tired. Perfect. So now my creatures, they're running out of moves. They're going to start taking naps. That's what we want to see. Here, let's see if I can tire out any more creatures. Uh, I guess they're just too efficient. Okay, whatever. We're going to this. Let's make these merges. Here we've got the Kitsune. We're going to merge the level one Kitsune babies. Get those cuties there. Awesome. Next, we can merge the dragon level one. Okay. We're going to go ahead, merge these level five or level one dragon babies here. Awesome. We just got some level two and looks like we're going to be able to do a five merge of the level two dragon children. Oh, yeah. And we just discovered the level three dragon. Aloha. Looks like it's a Hawaiian dragon. Cool. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, this is going very well here. Okay, my creatures have harvested a bunch of stuff. We're about to make a mess again. Let's see. Um, here we've got that. Looking good. Um, mm, 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 mm. Here, okay, let's just merge that there. Uh, I'm going to switch those seeds out. We've almost got a five merge with those evergreens. Uh, we have another merge here, though. Let's see, the Rabbards. So these are the level one. These are kind of like the Cosmos Dragons in Merge Dragons, if I'm not mistaken. Let's merge these rabid bird babies together. Yeah, what's cooking? Hey, Hetty. We just got the Rabbard child here, the level two Zoomer. Awesome. Oh, that's it for the Rabbards. Next, we've got some deers to merge. We can go ahead and merge these uh, five level one deer babies there. Awesome. Any more merges? Okay. Next, we've got the centaur. We're going to merge those level one centaur babies there. Beautiful. Awesome. You know it. I'm sending out positive energies to everybody. I hope everybody's having a beautiful Monday. Hope you're enjoying all the merges going on now with your playing Merge Dragons, Merge Magic. I hope you're crushing it. If you're at work, don't work too hard, just hard enough. <laughs> you know what I mean. But ha hope you're having a beautiful day and having fun. Oh, excuse me. A little change of pressure there. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm out of space here. We're going to merge those five druid stones together there. Next, we can merge these five stone pieces. I don't know if that's going to make any space, but wait a sec. Here we can get these weak bright stones, merge those five together, condense that right there. That'll help a little. Okay, move that, switch that. Here we've got that, whoop, that to switch, that there. Okay, not too shabby. Let's go ahead, whatever, harvest the cobweb. Merge the evergreen trees. And next, we're going to bring these beauties up here. Switch those out with the seeds. Awesome. That minor blessing, I'm going to pop. Here, I'm going to sell that. And, yeah. Okay, what next? What next? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we've got a seed there. Or... Maybe not. Okay. Oh, the creatures. Oh, thanks everybody for sending me gifts. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. If ever you want to send me a friend request, don't hesitate. Um, I forgot to change the description of the video, so you still have the Merge Dragons description right now. But if you go on my website, um, in the top right corner of my webpage, there's going to be a button that you can click on for... The friend code. There you're going to find the search bar in the menu. So when you get to my website and you click on the top right corner, you can click that search bar. Type in Merge Magic friend code. Then you're going to be able to find my webpage where not only will you have my code for Merge Magic, but you'll also have a bunch of other toasty fans that have been adding their codes there. So if ever you're looking for a bunch of people to add in Merge Magic, feel free to check out my webpage and add your code as well. 
beautiful. Here, we're going to merge these fine enchanted stumps. And now we've got a five merge. We're going to merge those great enchanted stumps. Merge these mana enchanted stumps next. Awesome. Here, we're going to trash that dimensional jar. Bring these stumps back up here. Beautiful. And we've got this going here. We're going to get that stump. Beautiful. And let's make some more creature merges. Here we've got five butterfins we can merge. So I'm going to merge those babies there. Awesome. And oh my gosh, you're already getting witches? What? That means you've got the wonder of the enchanted stumps, if I'm not mistaken. If this is anything like the Stonehenge, the enchanted stumps wonder is going to have witches teleport through them so that you can get more graves. If ever you don't have the budget to unlock the premium land, well, you can save up those graves, keep merging those level one graves, and it's gonna be a lot of hard work, but just like in Merge Dragons, you can merge those witch graves together, and eventually you'll get the level four grave, just like the one I found once I healed the land, and then once you get the level four evil witch resting place, you can merge, uh, you can tap those to get those wicked seeds. Oh yeah. Don't forget the dead man's toe <laughs> for all the Hocus Pocus fans out there. Beautiful. Let's see, we've got four more merges. No way. Oh, not with the Butterfins. Ooh, Griffins. Let's go ahead and merge these level one Griffin babies together here. Awesome. And next... We've got, ooh, another merge with the Griffins. We're gonna merge these level two Griffin children here. Ooh, and we just got the level three Griffin and completed creation quest 54, Patang. Next, oh my God, of course I get this now. Next, creation quest 55, merge five enchanted stumps at once. Like I haven't been doing that all day. Okay, so, well, at least I know what to do. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get some more of those awesome chests. Let's go ahead and harvest this fruit here. Oh, beautiful. We are going to merge those coins, make some space. Uh, okay, we can harvest the leaves here. Let's see. Not too shabby here. We're going to tap that old coin, merge these old coins together. And here we can merge these bronze coins next. Beautiful. Group these over here. And we're going to sprinkle a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And let's tap this star. And the locked chest, I'm just going to sell those for coins. And speaking of coins, I feel tempted to go spend a couple of coins. We're still working on creatures, of course. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, ran out of space, but we still got the eggs. Okay, let's see. Here, oh, what to do, what to do. You know what? I'm going to merge those three sprouts there. <laughs> whatever. And here we're going to get those seeds. Uh, I'm just going to collect the coin, whatever. And let's merge these five tree and eggs next. Oh, yeah. Those are super cute. Yeah, let's see if we have some merges. Oh, yes. With the tree and we are going to merge these level one tree and babies here. And oh, no way. These are so funny. Okay, we just got the tree and children super cute they've got their little jungle outfits on <laughs> and uh let's see here this is going very well um uh, we've got that going on we still have two merges here Ooh, peacats hello we can merge these peacat babies here awesome and oh uh, that's all the peacat merges we have for now <sighs> one day one day well at least we can merge these Minotaur babies here. Beautiful. And we looks like we go, we've got another merge with the level two Minotaur children. Patang. Beautiful. Ooh, and we cleared some land. I'm going to tap that for sure. Let's see what we've discovered. 
Okay, not too shabby. A little bit more of land here. That's looking good. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's already 119. Okay, well, I think I'm going to wrap this up. I don't know if anybody has any last minute questions or anything. I hope everybody's had fun. This has definitely been a lot of information packed into this live stream. So if ever you... Uh, missed any parts of the live stream or you tuned in after the beginning you can always catch the live stream again feel free to check it out hope everybody's having a beautiful day we will be having another live stream when there's 30 minutes left in the fabulous halloween event in merge dragons so make sure to tune in for that it's going to be in about an hour 11 minutes or so and uh, hope everybody's having a beautiful day Oh yeah, a congrats everybody. Beautiful. <laughs> awesome. Love it everybody. Oh yeah. Well, I guess that's about it for now. Make sure to keep it toasty and I'll see you in a few. Namaste. Namago. Peace. <laughs>